Pickleball Strategy 203. Know your numbers. Using statistics to drive training focus. Part 1. The first three shots of the game. For some reason, the sport of pickleball seems to lack the detailed performance statistics that we are accustomed to seeing in other sports. In the world of professional tennis, every shot and every shot outcome is recorded. With respect to the serve alone, there is a list of statistics. Why is all of this important to a player and his or her coach? It's important because it allows creating intelligent, data-driven training programs. As stated by the legendary management consultant Peter Drucker 45 years ago, you can't manage what you can't measure, and what gets measured gets improved. It all starts with data collection. Let's get started by looking at the first few shots of a pickleball game. I've studied many pickleball tournaments, and here is what my data shows. Let's start with a serve and the return of serve. In tournaments involving the top 5-0 rated players, the service fault rate is about 0.68%, which equates to about one fault out of 150 serves. The return of serve fault rate is about 1.24%, which equates to about one fault out of every 80 return of serves. When we move to the 4.5 skill level, both numbers approximately double. And when we move to the 4.0 skill level, both numbers approximately double again. Based on this data, players who consider themselves to be at the 4.0 skill level should have, on average, less than one service fault per game and less than one return of serve fault per game. Now let's look at rally losses that stem from poor third shots. This is a measure of rallies where a poor third shot is the main cause of the loss of the rally. Of course, this includes third shots that go into the net or out of bounds. It also includes third shots that are high and are smashed. Watch here. It also includes high third shots that cause the serving team to fault before they can get fully forward. Watch again. This rally was lost due to a poor third shot. At the 5.0 skill level, about 17% of rallies will be lost due to issues with the third shot. This jumps to 27% for players at the 4.5 skill level. Below the 4.5 skill level, the figure essentially flattens. This is because players at lower skill levels may be positioned away from the non-volley zone line or have trouble capitalizing on poor third shots, or worse, they fault when trying to do so. Now let's talk about how to improve your numbers. Instead of just practicing what you are doing now, you probably need to improve your technique. For the serve, the return of serve, and the third shot drop, you should minimize wrist action and swing path curvature, especially in the ball striking zone. Don't do this. Do not use wrist action. Don't do anything you see here. All of these curving swing styles yield inconsistency. Instead, seek to create a linear paddle path, especially in the ball contact zone. To reduce directional error, your paddle needs to move in a linear fashion through the strike zone. Most shots in pickleball are best executed with rather compact and rather linear strokes. On this paddle, the pointer points to the direction that the ball will travel after making contact. The paddle face needs to stay pointed at the ball flight trajectory path before, during, and after contact is made. 
so you need to get the paddle face aimed before making contact with the ball. A linear paddle path through the strike allows hitting a target on a wall over and over again. Before serving, spot the exact target you are trying to hit. Imagine pushing the pointer along the desired trajectory. If you really want to lower your service faults, aim for the middle of the box and note the outcome. Again, to develop serving accuracy, you must have the paddle face pointed along the desired ball flight path through the contact zone. When returning a serve, don't use any stroke that looks like one of these. Trying to win the point with a fastball return of serve or with a return of serve with topspin is a low percentage beginner mistake. Here's what to do instead. When returning the serve with a forehand, use a serving stroke and push the ball instead of swatting at it. Allow plenty of clearance over the net. A good target is shown here. Note the outcome versus your target. When making the third shot drop, get into position early. Get low and get the paddle face set into position before making contact with the ball. Create a linear paddle path through the strike. Watch this top player. The paddle path is nearly straight. Watch here. This is how the pros can make the difficult third shot drop. In competitive pickleball, there is absolutely no skill more important than the ability to drop shots into the kitchen. None of the shots discussed require outstanding talent or athletic ability, so there's no reason you can't improve your technique and your statistics. So folks, set a goal and track your numbers. Make your numbers and you will make your medals. Good luck.